Hello everyone, so this is me, Jonas Senior, and I want to do a tutorial about my viral video of Pasilio and San Lola. So before I start a tutorial, I just want to say thank you guys to all of your support towards me. Since uh, my cover of Pasilio by San Lola has reached 1 million likes here on TikTok, and it's currently reaching, about to reach a 8 million views so i just want to say guys uh thank you so much to all of your supports and a big shout out to the band uh sun kiss lola here from philippines so i just want to thank you guys for making for inspiring me as a musician so without further ado uh let's start the tutorial and i just want to say uh you can follow me on my instagram account here is so i'm gonna put it there <laughs> So follow me on my Instagram account since I'll be posting some covers there with some chord tutorials. Let's start the tutorial. <laughs> so the chords I used in that song are only four chords on repeat until the very end of the video. So don't worry, I don't know the chords though, but I'll I'll be putting it here or there. I don't know. So the, four, the chords I used there are D, D diminish, E minor 7, and I don't know the last chord, it's, some, it's so complicated to explain, so it's very jazzy. So, <clears throat> here's how it sounds like in the intro. So first chord is called D M7, but we're gonna do the intro first. So first note is your fourth string on the seventh fret will be played on your pinky finger. So pluck the fourth fourth string on the seventh fret. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on the fourth string. So, and, and third next note is third string on the fourth fret, and third string to the seventh fret. So again, and you're gonna do a D M seven chord, but in my in my intro I hammer the pinky finger on the second string of 7th fret so originally the score is, is played like this so in my cover I did it like this it sounds so angelic and beautiful so I don't know how to explain this drum though again M mute and then next chord is <laughs> Uh, called D diminish seventh. For you guys who d don't know how to play this chord, is your middle finger will be on fifth string on the sixth fret, and your ring finger will be on fourth again in fourth string on the seventh fret, and your pointy finger will be on third string on the fifth fret. And lastly, your pinky finger will be on 7th fret on this 2nd string. So, if you pluck all the string, it sounds like this. It sounds so beautiful. Again. So, that's basically it. So. Next part is your pointy finger will be barred on the 5th fret from 1st string to 4th string. Pluck all the string and hammer your pinky finger on the 7th fret of the 1st string. And pluck. Pluck this. And slide your pinky finger 
on the second string from 6th fret to 7th fret. And an E minor chord is next. So. It's an E minor, but I did not play it here and here because it sounds so dull and <laughs> I just don't like it. So, uh, in order to play this, your middle finger will be on the third string on the fourth fret, and your ring finger will be on fourth string of fifth fret, and also your pinky finger will be on second string on the fifth fret. So if you pluck all the string together, don't forget the bass though. It's very under this part. It's so heavy. Next is this part. <laughs> One of the best part of that video. So what I did there is it's just an open E string, but I pluck it very hard, <laughs> and it almost broke my string. So, that slide. So, E string, open E string, and then 6th E string on 4th fret, or the G sharp, G sharp bass. And this next chord is what I call the complicated chord. I don't know how to explain it though. I don't know what this chord chord is called though it just sounds so good so tutorial on this chord is your bass will be at a on the fifth fret of the sixth string and your middle finger will be on fourth fret on the fifth fourth string on the fifth fret and ring finger will be on sixth fret on the second third string Lastly is pinky finger on the second string on, also in the sixth fret. So, lock all the string together. Um, it sounds so beautiful. So, from the top, it sounds like this. second part of the intro is where the bend part is done so tutorial on the bend parts uh, your second string you're gonna uh, put your ring finger on the 10th fret on the second string what you're gonna do is bend all the way up <laughs> until it hurts your hand next after you bend the second fret pluck the first string on the tenth fret after you pluck the first string you're gonna bend down for second string so you're gonna do it like this so and next is again your second string on the seventh fret just like I, what I did on the first part of the intro. And go back to the E minor part. This one. And plop, stop, and then... End part of the intro. Strumming pattern is... Down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up. But you're gonna do it faster so it sounds so good and... Cool. <laughs> so, one, two, three. Mute. So after you pluck this down and down pattern, you're gonna mute your uh, your strings here from your left hand. So so that's basically basically the intro. So from the top, 